I know she crying. She always crying. big project all right my client wants me to paint on a canvas that's 40 by 60 on black velvet i have never painted on fabric before i didn't even know that was a thing until she texted me that and then i looked at it and i was like blown away because i've never seen it and apparently this was a thing way back in the day and then they used to paint like elvis presley on it or you know those paintings with the dogs looking like they're playing poker and stuff like you mainly see them in like bars or like i don't know people that used to collect them but that's besides the point the whole point of this is that it's going to be on a 40 by 60 canvas on black velvet with a wooden frame all right so that means i'm going to have to decide if i want to do some wood burning or use my drill master to carve a design on the frame and i also have to find a a uh, piece of plywood or something to lay the fabric on and stretch it so i can staple it to the back of it so um it can be nice and tight like i did a lot of research on how to do this and i'm going to show you guys the challenges that i'm going to have to deal with when it comes to painting on this black velvet is incorporating the negative space because it is black and the black will play a big part in giving the figure or whatever it is that i'm painting the dimension all right so i'm going to show you the examples that she sent me and i'm going to show you guys uh some inspiration that i was thinking uh so yeah that's what's coming up next just me showing you my research what i found showing you my ideas comparing it to what she wants i'm also going to be tagging her into my videos because she's watching this process along with whoever's watching uh so yeah okay so here's an example of what she showed me through text. She sent me this picture of a very Afrocentric woman that's not afraid to show her skin because you know, her melanin is popping. And I love the fact that the background is already black because it gives me a feel of what it would look like on a black velvet canvas. This image right here is an example of what I've been looking at. I think it's really cool how they use continuous lines in this image to portray the, the figure or the shape of a body. I really would like to do this, but I don't know how it would look on the black velvet material. These next few pictures that you see right here is my inspiration. I'm like really bent on trying to figure out how to get a continuous line type of technique on black velvet if it doesn't work then i'll just go back to regular painting and highlighting the certain areas of the body to show and pop on the black velvet but i really want to try this out it looks really really cool if you can see closely, I try, I'm trying to blow it up here for you, but if you can see like how those lines, it looks like a scribble scrabble, but it also gives the shape of the figure. It's really, really dope. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be doing some online shopping and going to the store to buy all the materials that I need in order to get this project started. Hopefully I can also get to some sketches so that way I can kind of pull together what look or what kind of a position that I want the figure to be in because everything matters when it comes to things like this. Um, 
you'll see what I'm talking about tomorrow, but I am extremely tired. Recording this video has taken me all day and kudos to those who already got a YouTube channel started because it's like having two jobs in one, but I'm up for the challenge and I would really appreciate it if you guys stay tuned and stay interactive, especially when I ask questions or feedback. I really appreciate it. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.